Good morning, people. Welcome back to the channel. And this is Joy here with you. I'll be doing a morning thoughts episode after a very long time. This is one of my favorite things to do in this channel. I pick up random topics, fragrance, non-fragrance related topics, and I just talk about it uh, in one episode. Uh, some people like it. I guess I do it for the members. It's more of a, you know, just a talk sort of episode, vlogging episode, not a review. So if you're looking for a fragrance review, you're not going to get it here. So my scent of the morning is my new baby, this Alexandria Fragrances. Uh, this is actually a clone of Baccarat Rouge, uh, the X-ray version, it's called Interplay X-ray, okay? And this is by Hani Hafez, my dear legendary brother. I am actually growing into this house because this one is really, really good value house. You can get the 60 ml bottles for less than $1 per ml, which is great value. And I love Baccarat Rouge, Grand Soir, I'm getting those uh, i'm getting the grand sewer uh, clone as well because i cannot afford them at this moment i can i mean i can of course but i rather buy a uh, couple of other fragrance and samples to do reviews those i'll buy much later part of my uh, journey because those are supremely expensive but this one it's i got two on my neck two on my each arm and this is actually very potent juice i'll review this very soon but i'm still testing it out because it's a little bit different than typical Baccarat Rouge DNA. It has different opening. So I'm trying to get what that opening is. Uh, so I already have done a review just now. I'll upload it side by side with this video, which is Lanui Delum 2016 version. If you're interested still in this fragrance to know if this is a good performer, well, watch out for that video. That's a good video. I mean, that, that's a good fragrance. Video could be <laughs> okay. And I plan to do another fragrance today. That is Armani Code Ice. I have not done individual review on this one. So I'll do that today and it's going to be a busy day it seems, right? So today uh, in this episode, I want to talk about five points and this is going to be a fragrance related chit chat from my journey, okay? Uh, if you are looking for a controversial topic, I'm not going to do it to amuse you because those things never end up well for anybody and actually it annoys people, a lot of people. You know, some people like to see controversies, but uh, when I watch it on other channels, people bashing others, reviewing others kind of gets me a little bit annoyed i don't know for some reason so i don't want to do that myself okay morning coffee because my voice is a little bit down <clears throat> let me finish it mm. really sorry apologize because the voice is down so yeah i'm good now coffee is really good morning starter it gives you nice kickstart to the day really good okay so five points let's go to the points one by one First point, you know, today I want to discuss is I miss my early days of collection, collecting, you know. This is my from my fragrance journey. Uh, what I mean by it is that uh, when I started collecting, okay, and uh, what do you call, uh, yeah, <laughs> I just saw something funny in the message popping up, but thankfully no uh, sounds, no sounds for you guys, okay. What I mean by it, when I started uh, my collection properly, like I started in Malaysia 2016, 15, those time, but I was like not really that, uh, I wouldn't say enthusiastic, I was not that addicted at that time. Like I was addicted, I used to go and run, but I couldn't buy so frequently because things are really expensive there. Fragrances are full retail with full taxes and everything. So you really have to wait. Like I used to buy like 10 per month. Now I'm buying more like 30, sometimes more than 30, 40 fragrances uh, because uh, it's now became part of my life. Uh, but I'm extremely happy, no regrets. But what happened with early days when i got here in bangladesh i saw 2016 i saw there were kind members there was shafi bhai there were uh, tutul bhai there's fahad bhai all those great people and afterwards i met a lot of other people they introduced me to the wonderful world of perfume shops in bangladesh which some of them you know not all but the ones i got to meet stalin enterprise perfume world you know uh, many other shops star world i got to know slowly they used to sell fragrance at very very uh, like fair price range okay so I got really into collecting I started collecting and every single time I go somewhere let's say I go to Stalin Enterprise I just buy something and those are the times I used to collect Azaro Bogarts you know like I still do sometimes but not uh, as much as before because I have caught the ones I really wanted so what happened was I used to go to the shop and I just, let's say I bought cool water then I would look at hot water next day I plan to go and buy that so I had a lot on my list I had like my dream was like just to drive up <laughs> yeah the word is dream for a yes for a david of fragrance okay so 
drive up every weekend because I, I was not very sure of driving in Bangladesh at that time. I was very new uh, in terms of driving, but now I'm okay, you know, but I still hate driving through jam. So I just go anywhere I go, I go on Fridays. So I used to go on Fridays day and night, you know, I just go and I park the car and just run up and then buy the fragrance. I'm very excited until I go home, uh, sniff it. So those exciting parts, you know, I'm not going to say they're dead. Yeah, of course, they're dead. They're even crazier than ever. But after collecting from 150 to now six, 700 fragrances and getting rid of some of them, still having a lot of them. Uh, nowadays, I do much more, you know, research I'll talk about in a bit. But I miss those earlier days, you know, that the craziness that, that, that like, you know, the, imagine thinking of buying a fragrance and you just boom, there's like a nice light, not a bomb, <laughs> like a nice light goes off in your head and you go like, wow that exciting you know you get like all pumped up and you know warming up and stuff you gear up put on your shoes you know just mm, let's just go buy a fragrance you know so that exciting part like when i bought creed aventus you know like a dream come true you guys would understand if you're in that stage right so i think this is kind of like a blessing for people who are getting into the game newer people i think they are the ones enjoying the most they don't have so much criticism in their head they don't have so many criterias they just enjoy uh, whatever is in the market that's the best time of fragrance collection for me because you're not a cynic at that time <laughs> okay you know what i mean you are pure lover of a fragrance and you're very simple innocent more and more you sniff you'll be like oh this smells like that you know this smells like that it's kind of annoying at some point right so you got my point second point i want to talk about is my life how has it changed uh many people they are working the reviewers uh perfume collectors they are uh working let's say part-time with fragrances you know they do decant pages sell fragrances but in real life they are working as an it consultant lawyer engineer you know other other jobs but i took this as my 24 hours job because i stay home i don't want to work i hate working i hate the concept of concept of working in bangladesh because traveling eats up all your day seven to eight hours you're gonna spend on road not worth it even if you spend five hours on the road not worth it it's just a wastage so i decided you know this is what i love i have a small decant page i work with it someday i actually want to have a proper business shop shop or showroom setup and uh, maybe some companies they notice me maybe they will say come work with us that would be a nice thing to do i'm just telling you openly nothing to hide nothing to be ashamed of so working with fragrance i'm not saying that i have become a master of fragrance but i know uh, basic dna and is it going to be good for our country's side you know like our country condition and uh, who's gonna like what i meet a lot of people i take their opinions i write it down uh, what happens in that process is that you got to know a lot about fragrances you learn a lot of fragrances and in your head they get stored so i sort of sleep very little every day which is not healthy but i i when i wake up that's the moment i just go on my phone which people are posting which posts are pending in my group fracom bangladesh and just approve all of them because I filter all the posts has to be strictly fragrance related. And I got to meet so many awesome brothers. I have this one brother. He lent me a lot of his fragrances, Tom Ford and all. He is uh, very close to me now and we have a lot of things in common. He knows who, who he is, but I'm not going to say his name. He'll be embarrassed. But uh, people like this give me petrol in my obsession some more can you imagine how fast i'm running it's like you have fuel and you add some liquid to the fuel and you enhance you boost your fuel and it becomes like from 100 becomes 200 you know and you have like two three videos every day uh, i have seen this trend changing you know i thought i was the only one who was crazy at first like one year back people used to do reviews like every week once or twice now everybody's doing review every day almost every day uh, they are trying to, you know, push contents, you know, brand new release, creative. This is what we needed in the community, right? So working with fragrance kind of keeps you going, you know, all day I think of going to buy a fragrance, uh, go try to buy like a sample or try to go meet up people to sniff. So it became like 24 hours. I talked to my friends over the messenger, you know, discussing fragrances, like what is the experience? Did they get any compliments? What are the new fragrances to discover? This is the second point. I am with fragrances 24 hours beautiful life <laughs> number three uh, how do i buy uh, fragrances and how do i avoid uh, so many fragrances you guys must think like i review uh, like almost everything like i am the designer dude everybody knows me by designer fragrances uh, so 
many people like even Nikhil Bhai, you know, like perfume guru, he says, if anything designer related, I don't bother. You know, people ask me, I just go send him to Joyce channel. <laughs> that is a wonderful compliment. I don't take it as a joke or anything, but you know, I have done basically my fair share of all designer fragrances that I collected, I loved from each house. Let it be Burberry, Versace, Bulgari, uh, Thierry Migle. The ones that I loved, I haven't reviewed everything but i reviewed bulk of them so i'm reaching towards 1000 videos uh i think a lot of other reviewers have a lot of contents but i have done in two years nearly 2000 videos that i feel it's it's possible because of people's support okay so what i'm trying to say is how i buy fragrances now you must think i review everything no i do not review everything i do not buy everything if something i do not like wearing myself i do not buy it i would rather do a sample review let you know if it's good or bad so that confusion people have like joy is saying everything is seven eight nine ten you know like because i buy those fragrances because i love them that's when i want to review them because they're good i don't know how some reviewers buy full bottles of something and they don't like i don't doesn't make any sense to me okay it doesn't make sense to you that you buy something you spend hundred dollars on fragrance you do not even like doesn't make any difference like a you know doesn't make any sense right unless you are getting the bottle for free to review and then you're giving independent opinion how i buy because i have to buy every single fragrance i'm not sponsored by anybody in bangladesh no one's gonna sponsor you they will take <laughs> some more if they can but uh i have to really do a lot of research you know like i see a fragrance i do not immediately buy it unless i know this is gonna be good which is very rare very very rare like classic example is versace eros flame i'll just tell you why i didn't buy it i had the option to buy it, but it's 100 120 dollars for 100 ml because it's brand new but versace is what is the classic uh, case of versace after one to two years if they come to that 35 40 dollars 45 dollars range so paying for something almost three times the price range that usually are for a brand new release i project like in future am i going to regret it i did uh, like example is i invested in this one gucci guilty uh, this absolute i bought it from perfume world at a full retail when it came out first, I didn't have any tester or anything. But, you know, it's a very daring fragrance. You do not blind buy <laughs> a Gucci Guilty Absolute, right? At a full retail price, okay? Uh, so, now what I do is I know Versace Eros Flame, no way is going to be $120 worth it. But some people, they have that craving. They needed it so bad. But when they buy it, they don't use it so much. So, I kind of do my, in my head, some sort of justice. Like, uh, I write down the notes. What are the good things? What are the bad things? Is it a must-have? If let's say it's a unique masterpiece sort of release that you really have to have it. Like it's something like Daniel's icon, you know, I would buy it. If it's something of quality of, let's say what, uh, I don't know, um, that's a pure malt. Quality of pure malt, it just came out. I know conceptually it's going to be good. I would go and buy it. Retail, no problem. But let's say I'm buying Creed Aventus clones. Okay, Creed Aventus clones. I had at least 12 or 13 Creed Aventus clones and I did top 10 of my Creed Aventus clones. I know the DNA. So the final perfumes vintage, you know, I, I, I'm not very tempted to buy all of them because I know the DNA and not gonna spend hundred something dollars to get another Creed Aventus clone in a hurry, right? Perhaps when I don't have anything else to buy, I'm a little bit bored what to buy, I have some spare cash, then I'll buy, right? So that's how I avoid sometimes redundant purchases or I do not buy everything. I avoid some, I put it for future, right? So next one is uh, long videos. I'll do this a 20 minutes episode today because I don't want to rush and finish the video without saying the stuff I want to say. Uh, the concept behind long videos, I started off doing uh, following Mark. Yeah, you guys be like, why is this guy worshipping Mark all the time? I'm not worshipping Mark, guys. You know, it's just, he's my, you know, some people I saw the comment, they're like, he's copying everything of Mark. I'm like, how? They're like, you have the mohawk going, you have the beard going, and you just wear spec spectacles, you know? You look like Mark. I'm like, thank you. That's a good compliment. He's a good looking guy. <laughs> you know, weird, as weird as it may sound, but I thought at first, like when I started watching these reviews, these guys are like heroes, you know, like Fantastic Four, those movies. I still think they are heroes, but I wanted secretly, like, you know, Steven, Mark, imagine it's all these guys, epic reviewers in one movie, even Jeremy. <laughs> difficult now yeah but they act in a movie you know that will be a movie like a perfume story of a murder or something of like you know exciting movie someone would make a film about them you know like a documentary all in one video i would watch that over and over again it's weird right but 
I used to think of it because these guys meeting up in Creed boutiques, you know, meeting up outside, OG reviewers, a lot of OG reviewers chat, you know. Uh, so all these guys, you know, Max 40, I wanted to see them in a feature in a film or something like that. So Mark, his videos used to be 30 minutes, 26 minutes, and I started doing those 26 minute videos and people used to actually watch some of it. <laughs> and I thought like, you know, that's pretty cool. But as time progressed, uh, I just realized people told me, many people told me that enjoy your videos are too long and I don't have the basically time, you know, it's nothing, no hard feelings, but I don't have that much time because I watch other videos as well. But uh, can you make them a little bit shorter? Some people say make it five minutes. I'm like, no, five minutes is not possible. What do you say in five minutes? And I'm not that of a genius. So I kind of narrowed them down within 15 minutes. I try to do 11, 12 minutes per video. But why I do long videos, 10 minutes? Because you need to talk about a fragrance, what you really felt about it. You bought a fragrance. You like the packaging let's say you like a bottle you like a fragrance bottle a lot let's say d square rocky mountain wood i mean if no one talks about this presentation i mean i, f I would feel the review is not complete okay uh, because you have to pay homage you know like or respect to the creativity behind this bottle you know it's not it's just one product that you received by paying money but it took number of months or years to design this fragrance bottle so i would I think it's like the whole thing is like an essence you know some people buy fragrances because of a fragrance bottle you know like a design itself only just for collection midnight in Paris would be a classy example I do that as well sometimes you know I'll tell you just recent one would be this one yup wow okay this one look at the orange juice look at this whiskey kind of a bottle it's a nice interesting cap but the fragrance is very unique as well so I want to take my time discussing the presentation price who is it for longevity so when someone is watching it, who actually has the time, who is actually interested in the fragrance to know about it. So I take some notes from Fragrantica. I speak it here out. So people just have some idea, you know, that's why the videos are long. I don't want to do, I can't do editing. I don't do flashy videos, but a fragrance, you guys know, okay, top to bottom. This is, this guy bought the fragrance. So I keep it in the knowledge, right? So that's the whole purpose of it, right? I want someone to really know about the fragrance and last uh, last uh, point would be the content okay what I mean by content is I try to keep this channel fragrance related okay I love this line let me just be very clear this is what I took my absolute love you know people I thought at one point I would give up somewhere our last end of the year I, I almost gave up depression got to me uh, because this line is not easy one of my fellow reviewers she told me uh, Joy, I am going to close my group because you know this is getting too expensive out of my hand and uh, Sometimes I get depressed when I cannot buy fragrances no more to review and I do not get enough views after spending so much money And it's all legit point, you know, like why are you doing fragrance reviews? I mean not you not like her. I'm talking about anyone Why are we doing reviews because we want people to see it appreciate us subscribe to us like it sometimes that's not the whole purpose, but those are some purpose. I would lie if I say those things don't matter. Subscriber base doesn't matter. It does. It does. When people give you more thumbs up or they say you're doing good, uh, you should do more videos, look into this one. You feel like you want to take that extra step and you want to review some more fragrances of their choices. Okay. The, some of the unknown ones, hidden gem ones. So it provides fuel. So the content is very important in a way that no matter how much flashy work you do, camera work, editing, you do funny, you know, like you do roasting, this and that to entertain people. But if you do not actually provide content, you just do push-ups, you just show your car and everything. I'm not taking name or spreading hatred, but if you move away from the focus, you take a long break. One of the reviewers took a long break, Sai. Uh, Mark took long breaks. These are not good for the community or the reviewers because sometimes, you know, when you come back, after a year, many people have forgotten about you. That is the fact. That is the hardcore fact. And it gets very difficult to get views or people to follow you again because some of them, they don't know you. They know more newer reviewers, right? So you have to consistently put up the videos and people are staying relevant with you. It doesn't have to be all brand new fragrance. You can review any fragrance. I do very basic body spray, Indian fragrances, fog, you know, <laughs> those fragrances, X. I don't mind at all and I do Jack Bogart, I do Davidoff's, I do Azaro, then I do Armaf Rasasis. If you see my channel content, I don't mind reviewing anything. 
I do MFK house, I do Amouage. Recently, I'm getting into some niche houses, uh, some Tom Fords. So I believe the wide range helps people. They can see like, oh, I get every single fragrance uh, brand in this uh, channel. So it keeps the interest, right? So I want to <laughs> work hard, but I want to work all at the same time, give something people want to see, okay? Some content people want to see. They don't want to see, like some people, they don't want to see all designers. Some people don't want to see all clones. They want to see other stuff as well. So the content is very important. So keep it strictly about talking fragrances. I think uh, what's happening in the community, you know, update, vlog, latest releases, any form of positive talk helps, right? So those are the things I focus on. And I plan to do if God keeps me here. I'll buy so many unknown fragrances, like give them love. That's what I love to do. Moschino Fresh Couture, I love this fragrance. Beautiful, amazing women's perfume, but I love wearing it myself. So yeah, fragrances like that doesn't get so much talk. I will bring them and talk about it. All right. So everybody have a nice day. Thanks for watching. And it's been a nice uh, time that I spent with you. If you watch this video and I wanted to do this video for a long time, I'll see you soon. I'll do some more reviews later today. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.